We'll restart it again. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, Stephanie, Anna. I see everyone piling on here. Let me get this in. Oh, no, we'll just leave it in gallery view. That's great. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, another week, another team call, Wisdom Weekly, every Friday, noon Central, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, until further notice anyway. Josh and Chelsea are on the way, probably uh, up at 35,000 feet right now, somewhere between Washington, D.C., where the National Prayer Breakfast occurred, I believe, yesterday, and uh, heading home back to Atlanta. So um, you just have me hosting today. So I want to jump right into this because we've got a ton of material to cover, and I'd love to keep it in 30 minutes, these calls. So I'm going to do my very best to do that and deliver a ton of amazing content that people like Lawrence and Josh and different ones have taught me over the years. So um, I can't wait to share this. And then you get to hear from Audrey Green, who's going to take one of these two things and show you, not theory, but tell you, not in theory, but in practicality, what she did last weekend, um, among other people like Emily Clark, who couldn't be on the call to share her story, but I'll share her story with you very briefly. Um, but before we get into that good stuff, um, I want to share my screen with you, let you see this. We've got um, update as of an hour ago, unless anything's changed, top 20, 90 days of winter. Just want to give a quick shout out to Dan and Michelle Koval there in 18th place, 19th place, I should say, um, with 12 points, Achievers Club points. We're not even halfway through this 90-day period, so still a lot of time left for all of us. Um, myself and Nicole, my bride, better half there in 17th place. Casey Williams, 12th place. Kim Williams, 18th, 18 points, ninth place. Um, Micah and Brian Stinnett, seventh place. And wow, top two for all of North America, Rebecca Sherrick, our, our brand, brand newest. Is that even a word? Brand newest. It's not sounding right. Uh, our newest director in the Wisdom Builders team, Rebecca Sherrick, as of a couple days ago. Uh, second place, congratulations, Rebecca, killing it with 25 Achievers Club points, and Katie and Elisha crushing it uh, with 35 points, holding down first place quite strongly. Um, so congratulations to, what is that, seven of the top 20, 35% of North America slots held by the Wisdom Builders team and growing. I'm confident we're going fast and furious this quarter, and it's only the beginning of what's going to be the best year yet in uh, these past several years. So exciting times with that. Um, also just another shout out to brand new senior manager here as of a couple days ago, Jackie Posey, uh, sponsored by Sherry Curley. I think I'm saying that right. Curley, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Whose uh, upline world team member is Dr. Don Holsinger and his beautiful young bride, Laurel Holsinger. Um, so congratulations to all of you with that. A um, couple quick announcements. We're going to jump into two topics here. Here we go. Number one, I want to share. You're still looking at my screen, hopefully, or you're able to see it. I want to share with you a reminder that hopefully most of us know, but I don't want to assume because we announced it one time a couple weeks ago that everybody heard it and everybody knows. In our team Facebook group, wisdombuilders.com, sorry, Wisdom Builders Facebook group, no.com. Um, if you go there, as you see on the screen and you click units right over here, and you go to the very first unit, unit one is getting started, you'll find a promoter launch document that I have highlighted right there, promoter launch document, and that is the document right there that you can click a comment and tag. I'll tag you, Ben. I see your fa smiling face there. Uh, ben, I know this is, you know, most everyone knows how to tag, but some don't. It's at Ben Holbrook, boom. And that's how you tag your brand new promoters in this document that gives them all the starting steps of where to plug in, how, what Facebook groups they are, what conference calls there are, and the first steps to start making an impact, making some income. So just a reminder, that promoter launch document, do not let someone upgrade to promoter without letting them know about that document. Secondly, uh, retreat. We are nine weeks today, nine weeks away from spring retreat in Bend, Oregon. If you're not registered, get registered, lead by example, and get your team there. Whatever it takes, get your team there. There's story after story after story and example after example right here in this team 
of these events, creating leaders, creating visions, creating business and creating impact. So don't miss out on that. Um, wisdombuilders.com, you go here to the homepage, by the way, right here where it says Pat, view past team calls in red towards the top right, I'm moving my cursor by it, is where you can view all the past, these, all these past calls for the past weeks. It's all right there. Quick links to the YouTube links. Every single week is there. But if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see upcoming events and there's a link right here, Wisdom Builders Team Retreat, right there. That's how you access it, right on our home page of our website. And right below that, Costa Rica, and you can see all events for the whole year right there, if you want. Okay, did you know that? Now you do. All right, what else? Um, oh, when you, we've got many, many of you registered for Spring Retreat. Chad and Janice Johnson have been so kind to do the same thing they did last year and open up their amazing home in Bend, Oregon for the post-retreat after-party dinner. Okay, dinner hangout is what we're calling it. Post-retreat dinner hangout. Uh, cost is $10, 12 $13 a person. Mill's going to be catered. I forget the cost exactly. Don't quote me on that. But you've got to buy tickets. Have to buy tickets. Through the same registration link, go get your tickets. If you don't have to catch a flight when the retreat ends on Sunday at 12.30 p.m., um, if you can stick around from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., hang out at their house. It was amazing last year. Dinner, fun, food, fellowship, all that good stuff recapping. So get your tickets for that too. Even if you registered for retreat, that wasn't an option probably when you registered. So go back to that link and get your, buy your dinner tickets. If you can stick around for that. What else? Um, I think that's it. Oh, and if you haven't got a hotel room, the reduced rate block of rooms that they're holding for us expires, I think end of this month, maybe March 3rd or something like that early March. So if you need a room and you want to get the best rate, reserve that. Um, under Neolife or Wisdom Builders. I think either one of those will work when you call in. All right, here's the two topics. Let me stop sharing my screen for a minute. Um, the two topics we're going to cover today, and I'm so thrilled about, you're going to be thrilled too. If you're not yet, you will, is number one, how to increase the volume, your PV, your volume of your business in the last five days, give or take a couple days of the month. Okay, that's one topic. The second topic is how to run an incentive. This is separate from the first topic, although they, 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 they overlap. How to run an incentive to boost volume any time in the month, but especially at the end of the month. Okay, so those are our two topics. And Audrey Green just did this incentive at the end of last month. Emily Clark just did this incentive at the end of last month. And both of them went from like 30 roughly 3,200 PV to 4,000 and 3,400 PV to 4,000. And I want to show you um, what that's all about as we, as we close. And we're going to close by actually hearing from Audrey um, just so she can share with you what she did and how that worked out. So, you know, it's not just me telling you something, but someone you can hear from someone who actually did it. So, all right. So first of all, I'm going to share my screen again. I just threw some notes in a PowerPoint because you'll probably want to be able to see this. Uh, let's see here. Let me minimize that and let you see this. And I would probably not be doing you much service if I didn't let you know that Josh has, Clark has a great video, uh, five minute video, I'm gonna call it, I don't know how long it is, a very brief video in the back office of all our websites, titled this on the screen, Three Strip Steps to Maximizing Performance. And what that's about, and I'm not necessarily gonna duplicate what he talks about in there, but what that's about, as you'll see here, um, on the screen is, he taught the three steps are beginning, and I'm not gonna do that training, but beginning of the month, printing out your, perform your team's performance from the previous month. So you can congratulate each person on what they did accomplish. Ask if they want to reach the next level from 500 to 1,000 or from 300 to 500 or from 1,000 to 2,000 or 2,000 to 4,000, whatever the next level is. And then if they want to reach the next level, ask them if they want help putting together a plan to get there. Okay, that's step one, beginning of the month, somewhere around the fifth-ish. Then mid-month, he talks about how important it is to touch base mid-month with them and see how the plan's going, possibly adjusting the plan if needed and, and or touching base mid-month with the ones that never had a plan in the beginning of the month and now they're ready to make a plan, okay? And then he talks about how the end of the month, and this is where there's a little overlap, the end of the month and not the last day of the month, but like five days before the end of the month-ish, let's call it roughly the 25th of the month, 
we want to call those, and this is where I want to take a little deeper dive. We want to call those that are really close to their next commission level, step up in pay increase percentage. We want to congratulate them on their process. We want to let them know that you're calling to serve them because that's how we succeed in this business um, is following that example of serving others, caring more about others than ourselves, giving, adding value. That's what entrepreneurs, we get paid to do, add value to other people's life. It's about them, not about us. So having that mindset, we want to make sure they feel no pressure. They, whatever they choose, you're just there to support, but that you notice they're close to the next step up in pay and that um, you care that they earn that extra commission percentage difference of commission rather than you. And you're here to serve them and encourage them and help them if they want it. So he covers that. But I'm going to go a little deeper into this and what that looks like. And I'm going to show you screenshots of my back office of my organization, some different shots of it with no names attached. So you won't know who's who. Um, I'm going to show you examples of what I'm looking for and how I go about doing it. Okay. And some of you have been the recipients of some of these calls. So you'll see what I'm talking about. And then we'll close with talking about how to do the, how to leverage an incentive to boost your volume and increase your sales as well. Before I jump into this though, a little further, everybody familiar, hopefully with, I don't know how many new people might be on this call now or watching it on replay that aren't familiar with our commission levels called sales volume bonus levels. I'm going to call it a commission levels. But that it, there it is on the screen. I guess I kind of have it upside down, huh? Should be, 4,000 should be on top, but whatever. We'll start from the top and work down. Um, I won't go through this, we'll spend a bunch of time, but that's the commission level. This is important to know because this is what we're talking about as I get further on and looking at organizations. You gotta know these numbers. Gotta know the benchmarks, 250, 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 4,000 as director. Gotta know those numbers, really simple. So let's assume we all know those numbers and the correlating percentage that goes along with it of the commission, how it grows as the volume grows. Okay, we'll assume that's that. Now, here we go. Anybody think that you could light up like a good size lot? You like my artwork, by the way? Yeah, that's good stuff, huh? I'm not an artist. I don't claim to be, but hopefully you get the point. Since I thought you wouldn't know what it is, I figured um, I, would, I would let you know what it is. It's a lighter like a cigarette lighter and a log, okay? Anyway, I don't think anyone could do, have much success lighting a big log with a lighter, right? Um, probably not gonna work out too well. Probably run out of fuel in the lighter before the log lights. But, but what if you take, and I didn't do Boy Scouts or anything, but I have started a fire or two. What if you take these, can you guys see my cursor? Can you see my cursor moving on the screen, Audrey? Yes. Okay. So what if you took some smaller logs, kindling, if you will, and then below that, some even smaller little pieces of kindling, and then below that, some pieces of newspaper, and you lit the newspaper, which lit the smaller twigs, I'll call them, which lit the kindling, would that light the log? Well, probably, at least a whole lot better chance, right? So this is the concept that we got to burn in our head when we go look at our uh, team and our organization, specifically our per team's performance report in the back office, this is the concept we're after. Heat rises, heat rises, okay? And small things burning, burn bigger things, which burn bigger things, but it's hard to make a big leap with a gap in between going from a lighter to a log. Okay, so I don't know if that's helpful. I hope it is. So with that being said, this is going to be the real challenge for you to hang with me because I don't have a whiteboard I can draw on on a Zoom call like this and have you be able to see it. So if you can see my cursor and between that and what I'm going to say, hopefully you can follow this. If not specifically, maybe in concept. Okay, so this is a hypothetical organization and I want to take you all the way down here to the bottom where, we're, where the newspaper is. And we're gonna assume everybody in this organization is doing 100 PV, just to keep it simple, okay? So down here, we go to the bottom. It's the five months, five days before the end of the month. And we're looking at our organization and you're not gonna see a tree view like this, but you can see the different levels and you can see your team's performance and, and you go to the bottom and you see, okay, 
we've got some people down here doing 100, 100, 100. That's 300. And the person above them, forget the orange, just focus on the purple or the pink, whatever that is. Okay, just focus on the, what color is that? Purple? I don't know. The person above them is doing 100. So what's 100 times four? 400 PV. Well, we know that 500 PV would be the next commission step up. So we're contacting that person that I put an orange dot in the middle of there and saying, hey, do you realize you're at 400 PV? Just another 100 PV and your commission steps up to 5%. You've got five days to get this done. You can help someone underneath you sign someone up. You can go sign up someone yourself. I mean, heck, you could place a 100 PV order if you get down to the bottom of the ninth inning and you've got no, no other options and you've tried everything else, right? Um, be like getting maybe close to free product. And they're like, oh, I didn't realize that. Because see, not everybody's all in. Most 99% of us are part-time, but we're on this call, we're engaged, we're all all in. But not everybody is. So they're not analyzing the stuff. They're not even thinking about it. So we bring it to his attention. He's like, oh yeah, 100 PV or her. Maybe it's a her. 100 PV, yeah, I can make that happen. I got five days. They make it happen. Guess what? They go from 400 to 500 and they get a check right now orange dot there is 500 pv okay we're going to go to the next level up and i'm looking and going okay here's 100 here's 500 now because this fire is going up here's another 100 so five plus one plus one we're at 700 this next orange dot he's got his own hundred so seven plus one is he's at 800 now because of what happened under him he's at 800 i know a thousand a thousand pv is the next step He's going to go up to 10%. I'm contacting him or her. Hey, you're at so-and-so under you just did 500 PV. Did you know now you're at 800 PV? This might be now, maybe there's not five days left in the month. Maybe there's four days left in the month or three days left in the month. This is why it needs to start five days before the month is over because you run out of time and you go to the second level up from the bottom and you're like, Hey, you're at 800 PV, 200 PV more. And you're at a thousand, 10%. Well, and by the way, for anyone new, it's not 10% of a thousand, which is a hundred bucks. It's 10% of a lot more than that. It's the bonus volume dollars, but we won't go there right now. It's more money than it sounds like. So did you realize you're 200 PV away? He's like, no, nah, I didn't know. Let's get busy. How can I help? Would you like to get that? What's his answer? Yes, I'd like to get that. Okay. Would you like help brainstorming ways you can get that? We help him get another 200 PV. He's at a thousand. Watch this. The fire is getting hotter. Now the second orange dot up from the bottom is a thousand plus to the right of him here. She's at 200 and to the right of him, he's at 300 in my hypothetical, a thousand plus 200 plus 300 is 1500. How about the orange dot above them? She's got her own hundred. So she's at 1600 now and we're calling her up going, Hey, Audrey, you're at 1600. Do you, have you seen what's happening underneath you? All you need is 400. That's the orange 400 there. All you need is 400 PV more. This, this 400 I wrote right here. All you need is 400 PV more and you're at 2000. You have three days to do it. You want help with the plan? 2000 PV? I mean, that's four, 400, maybe $450 check for the month. How would you like that? Oh, I'd like that. Well, let me help you do that. Let's figure out what, what do you want to do? How are we going to do this? Okay. There's many ways to do that and get it done, which is a whole nother talk. So we help Audrey get her 400 and get to a thousand or 2000 earns more money. We're helping people earn more money along the way. And the fire's getting hotter. All of a sudden here's 2000 points right there on that orange dot, 2000 points. Well, next to her is a guy with 400 and next to him is a gal with 200. What's that add up to 2000 plus 400 plus 200 is 2,600. The orange dot above him, 2,600 plus his 100, 2,700. 2,700. Why is my math funky? 3,700. It's, I think I did bad math. Whatever. Okay, let's just say it's 3,700. I could have, it's all hypothetical anyway. It's 3,700 points that the guy right under you is at 3,700 points. Okay, so you contact him. You're 300 points away from making director because of what's happened under you. Is he listening now? Hey, you've got one day, one day left. What are we gonna do to get you 300 points? If he had to buy 300 points of product, 
he would earn more than that cost in commission to hit that 20% top level. It would make no sense for them not to, but he's still got a day or two. Why buy it if you don't have to, or why buy all of it if you don't have to? So there's different strategies you could employ. And one being maybe an incentive like Audrey's gonna mention, which we're gonna cover next. But one way or another, he's gonna get his 300 PV and he's gonna get to 4,000. And you have a brand new director because you worked this hard the last five days of the month. And that leg right there, which as you can see in this diagram, that's just one of your four legs in this scenario. That's one of your four legs. That leg right there, I wrote it right up here in the top right corner and I did some bad math, okay? But it went from, I could have easily adjusted some numbers and made this work out math wise. I was in a rush. But up here, you went from 1700 PV that was in that leg five days before the end of the month to 4,000 PV in that, in that last five days. Does that make sense? And you got a director out of it because you worked the business and everybody, the, all four orange dots along the way won. They all won because of you. And because those four people won, you win and you're rewarded for that. And I hope this is making sense. This other leg over here on the far right that I put a circle around, if every one of those circles is 100 PV, we're just assuming that, that's how many people, seven people. So that's 700 PV this person has, this other leg, 700 PV. Work that with them to get 300 PV more so they get to 1,000 and you just picked up another 30% volume in that leg from 700 PV to 1,000. How about this leg on the far left? What if they were 300, 400, 500, 300, and that whole leg was sitting at, this person right here was sitting at 1,500 PV qualified? Well, I got five days. I'm looking. I'm going, hey, 500 points more. They're at 2,000. They're at 15%. Help them do it. Just increase this whole, the volume of this leg from 1,500 to 2,000. That's another 33% increase in volume in th five days. And total up here in the top left, you went from 3,900 PV on the 25th of the month to 7,000 PV on the 30th. Now, I know it's hypothetical. And I know it doesn't always work out like this. And some people don't have 3,900 PV on the 25th of the month to begin with, let alone this many people. But the principle is sound. The principle works, whether your business is 500 PV or 50,000 PV a month. Okay, because we're all, if we keep growing and we keep moving, we're all going to get to this size business or much, 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 much bigger than what I put on the screen. You know, as is the case of Nicole and I and many others on this call. So, I hope that's helpful. If you're letting the month pass in the last few days, you're not at least looking at your organization and doing this, you're missing out, you're missing out on, your, your team's missing out too. If someone above you misses it, someone below you, and you miss it, someone below you missed out on a check because we weren't diligent on looking at where they were at and at least giving them the information and offering the help and then they make the choice if they want to go for it or not. Here's my back office. I just took some screenshots of some of the five or 6,000 people in our organization. So as of today, but we'll just assume it's end of the month, okay? Assume it's the 25th for sake of training. I'm looking and seeing someone at 3708. You better believe I'm gonna look down below them. They're only 300 points away from director. Now what you can't see far left, because I took a smaller screenshot so you won't see their names, is far left I can see what level they're on. So I can see who's under who and all that, okay? But I'm seeing 979, boom, 1,000. I think 1,000, they're close to 1,000. 929, oh, close to 1,000. These are people that need to know. If this was like the last few days of the month, they need to know they're going to miss money if I don't tell them. And, the, and it's also going to help build volume to the person above them. I want to help get to 4,000 and hit director. I'm seeing chats. I'll come back to those chats because I don't know what, what's being written, but I see orange stuff on my screen. Oh, awesome stuff. Thank you, Ray. So there's an example. Here's another one. 1473. I'm like keying in on that. Oh, that's substantial, right? We, 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 I want to get them to 2000 if they want. I'm sure they want. So I look below them. 476. That's close to 500, right? I know the milestones. You all do too. 300, 500, 1000, 2000, 4000. Okay, so we're going to work it. Next. Um, oh, 3460. We've got someone at 3460. Let's, and there, I circled QSM on the right. They're a senior manager. They're only a senior manager. 
they are almost director. By the way, they are almost director here on the sixth of the month, seventh of the month. This is going to be a brand new director in the organization, by the way. Woo -woo. Okay, so 3460. Man, what's below them? 537. Uh, I circled their M, manager. Oh, they're a manager. They've never done a thousand PV. They don't even know what it's like to earn a 10% check. I'm working with them. If they want their my help, let's get you to a thousand. How about that? And a 10% bonus. Will that get the person above them to director? Absolutely. Okay. There's another one below them, another manager at 623. Get the idea? Here we go. 22531. Okay, I want to get this person to director. Oh, there's a 1577 below them. Get that 1577 to 2000. There's another 400 and something PV for the person above them. And everybody's winning. Oh, 768. I see another good one. They, we got to get them to 1,000. And then there's more below these people that you can't see on the screen. I'd keep going down. All right. Here's a club member. Last couple points on this. Club member. MEM member. M by itself, manager. I've mixed that up too many times. Member, 242. First paid step is 250. I see. Ah, eight more points. They could earn 3%. 3% is like, I don't know what 3% of 250 is. It's probably like um, 12 or $13, okay, of the BV. Do I want a member to, that has no interest in the business to become a promoter just so they can get a rebate on their products and earn $13? Personally, I don't. I want members to be members and promoters to be promoters. And I want them to want a business before they become a promoter, not a rebate program. That's me, okay? So I'm not saying anything to this member unless I've had conversation with them about the business and they've been like curious about the business and thinking about the business and maybe now I'm absolutely going to have a conversation with this member about becoming a promoter. Maybe now's their time. You can earn a little check this month and you're off into the races. How about this member, 418? Mm, now there's a little more reason maybe to talk to them because now they're close to 500 and that's a 5%, you know, and that's a, uh, you know, 40 to $50 check or something, you know, more than 12 or 13 bucks. And so it's like, maybe, but if they're no interest in the business, they've never talked about the business. We've even, I've even brought it up in the past as a, you know, in passing and just no interest. I am not talking to this member about getting an up, you know, upgrading to become a promoter. No, I'm not just, just, that's just what up my style. Okay. My thought. So I hope that's helpful. The last thing, and this will be much quicker is incentives. We've not talked about incentives. I don't know who's ever done incentives, but in these training calls or from this platform, we've never talked about it. So the scenario that was used last week um, was, okay, we need, you know, 600 PV or 800 PV to get to a thousand or to get to 4,000. And we're still, um, you know, the month is over, or the, the month was essentially over. Um, we had till Monday morning for world team to approve orders and stuff like that. But basically let's just say with a, with a day to go or a weekend to go, we just had the weekend. Um, Audrey green and Emily both did the same incentive and Emily, would you mind just, uh, sharing what you did? I know we're already at the 30 minute mark and I went a little long. Those that took longer than I thought to cover it as well as I wanted to cover it. Hopefully that was helpful to everybody. But would you mind just sharing quickly what you did, decided to do and, and how that worked out for you? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, stop sharing my screen here. Go ahead, Audrey. Yeah, okay. You said Thank Emily. You, by the way, for, for being willing to, to share what you did. Yeah, no problem. You said Emily, so I wasn't sure if she was on here too or <laughs> if you met me. Sorry. No, no, you're, you're the, she was, she's, I think, in the middle of work right now. She said she'd love to be on and I can share her experience after you're done real quick. Okay. Yeah. So um, Alan called me the other evening and um, proposed this idea and I jumped on it. And um, so he, um, what he suggested is that I, come up with an incentive and call all of my club members. So what I did was if they spend $48 or more, they would earn a free bottle of magnesium. Um, 
and I chose $48 because the Pro Vitality is just over 48. Trianin is 48 something. I mean, several products like that are right around 48. And so I chose 48 just so that they could, if they only wanted one item, they could do one item and it would qualify. Um, <clears throat> and I called everybody. I ended up getting five different orders and um, only one person ordered one thing. So all of my orders were bigger than that. I ended up with, um, just a second, I wrote it down because I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> so I ended up with 419 PV out of those five orders. Um, and that included the bottle of magnesium. So, and well, so how much do you want me to tell them? Audrey, one other thing I just want to add for everybody, that was with basically 48 hours to go to essentially two days. Let's just, let's say that two days before the end of the month, just to keep it simple and not clutter with, with de too many details, two days before the end of the month, she needed about 800 PV to hit her next level. And you sold with this incentive, you sold how much, how, how many orders, how many, how much PV? Four, have, five over? orders, about 419 PV. Got it. Okay, great. And then, and then it made, so then what about the remaining three or 400 PV or whatever the remaining was, doesn't matter. Did you fall? I know the answer, but you didn't fall short. Is that you, when you just placed an order for that amount because it made financial sense to do so? Yeah. Yeah. Where, where if you had to place an order for 800 PV, I wouldn't have been oh, able to. Not, yeah. It's not making financial, it's not sound financial sense to do it in her situation. Um, being that far away from the next pay step, but it got, because she implemented this uh, incentive, right, Audrey, you got over half, roughly half of the way there. And then, then it made financial sense because what she would earn in uh, increased commission by doing so. Given and the car bonus. And the car bonus of $150. Right. Thank you. Rather be qualified. So it would take, you know, another three months three qualify for that. So the car bonus times those three months is that amount that I would have lost too. Yeah. And I don't know that, uh, thank you. I don't know if there's, if, unless you have any other um, tips or anything you want to add to it, I'm not asking you to say more, but do you have anything else, Audrey, that since you just got done doing that, that you would say to everybody that might be helpful? Yeah, just don't, um, like some of the people before I called them, I was like, oh, I don't want to call this person. But some of those people are the ones who ordered because it was like there was an inactive lady. She hadn't ordered for a while. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'll get some stuff. And I was just like, you know, shocked. But if I wouldn't have called her because she was inactive, I wouldn't have gotten that order. And it was a pretty significant one. And then, um, Another lady, she's like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a good deal. I'd like to do that. I just don't know what to order. So then, so then it was like, oh, well, I started asking her you know, questions and found out she has digestive issues. And so she wants to try some of that stuff. And so then I helped her to figure out, you know, what she could get. But otherwise, like, she never would have on her own. She never would have ordered something else to try. But by doing this, it made her choose some other products or whatever. I'm so glad you said that. And did you pre, so did, you didn't prejudge who you were calling. Did you contact everybody in your organization and offer this to them, whether they returned there, your call or your text or not? Yeah. So there was a couple people that haven't ordered in a very long time and have basically said that they don't want to. So those people I didn't call cause I knew that it would annoy them, yep. but everybody else I called, you know, if it wasn't somebody like that, then yeah. I yep. called them or, and if I didn't get them on the phone, then I left them a voicemail. If I could, there's a couple of people I don't have their number. I just have messenger with them. So I just messaged a couple of the people and whatever, you know, however I could do it to get a hold of everybody in that short period of time. Cause I didn't have very long. So it was like, I have to just get a hold of them right now and let them know about this. Yep. So, so uh, hopefully you heard that everyone, she was picking up the phone with anyone she had a phone number for in her entire organ, correct me if I'm wrong, if she had a phone number for anyone in her entire organization, assuming they hadn't already told her basically, I'm done, I don't want any more products, she called, didn't text, didn't message, didn't anything, 
because time it was time sensitive. And the other thing that I heard you say, Audrey, is it allowed people allowed you to have conversations with people about other products and product lines that would not have those conversations obviously wouldn't have happened if those 48 hours hadn't been crunch time and she wasn't dialing for dollars, so to speak. Um, and talk because when I would imagine you have those conversations, well, if you spend over $50 or you said 48, 48, then you get a free bottle of, you know, $15 or whatever it is, bottle of magnesium. And you can talk quickly a couple bullet points of the benefits of magnesium and that's exposing them to a whole new product as well that they probably haven't taken. Um, but it's like, you're probably gonna have people say, well, yeah, I don't know what I would order exactly. Well, have you tried the organic skincare products? Have you tried any of the healthy living home, you know, home care products? Have you, you know, gives you, it's just conversations. And I, I would venture to guess just the fact that we pick up and call, pick up the phone and call our people and have conversations with them. It probably leads to sales just not probably, I know it leads to sales in and of itself, let alone when you have something free to offer and a time limit to do it within. I'm so super, super proud of you for doing that, Audrey. And I'm sure you inspire, you're inspiring a whole bunch of people by, <laughs> by the fact that you did that. So thank you very, very much. Anything else to add? Um, no, since I was giving away the magnesium, I did, like you said, I made a little sheet of paper with facts about the magnesium so that I had them right there to look at while I was talking to people. And, and I would just, you know, say, oh, well, these are some of the benefits. And a lot of people were like, oh, huh, I didn't know that about magnesium. So people don't know about products. They don't know what they can do with all these different things. And unless you share it with them, they have no clue. So right. I love it. That's great. And by the way, the logistics of that, if you all want to do something like this, here's how it goes down. You tell them that you, because it's an incentive, you need to place the order for them and for this incentive. And you call Neolife with all your orders and their credit card information, unless they have one on file with the company. And you and place the zip code. And their zip Don't code for their credit their card. Code. I had that problem. <laughs> yes. yes. And you place the order over the phone. You sit down for the 20 minutes and boom, 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 give them all the orders and you use their credit card for their order, and you already do the math to know what magnesium costs, plus tax rate, plus 3% shipping, and you know, what, what, was, what was the price of the magnesium? Did you figure? Do you remember, Audrey, what your cost was? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's oh, call it $18.30 out the door. So whatever the total is, you've got a calculator, you just subtract 1830 from it, charge the balance to their card, and then the other 1830 that's remaining, you tell the person charged 1830 to this card number and you give them your card number. Then they get charged for what they should be charged for. You get charged for what you get. You should get charged for. The order all comes from Neolife together and they don't even know if it was a Neolife incentive or your incentive. They don't even know who paid for the, they don't even know who gave away the free product. You don't have to ship it. You don't have to deal with it. Another little tip, okay? If you want to do it that way, it's your business. You do it however you want. You want to ship product, ship product. I don't, if I can help it. Okay. Um, so I think that was, so, oh, uh, last thing I'll say, anyone has any comments or questions, we'll open it up. We're already over time. I don't think that's something you do every month. Okay. I think it's something you strategically do at certain points in time. And for both of these two people, those were very critical months to make sure they got their 4,000 points. Um, but the, that's the, so the incentive is not something I see doing every month. But the first thing we started talking about, I hope that every one of you will commit. And the smaller your team is, the quicker and easier it is. And the bigger your team gets, the more it might take. But if we're teaching and training and duplicating this, quite honestly, and every leader is doing it for their team, then nobody has to do too much, right? Um, but I hope you're doing that month in five days, four days, three days, as the days are closing down, you're looking at your team and seeing who you can help get to the next level for their sake, first and foremost, and it's going to benefit your business as well. And everybody in between you and them, any comments or questions before you shut it down? Emily Clark did the same thing, by the way, she went from 3,400, 3,400 PV two days before month end. That means all the auto ships were done, everything was done, 600 PV short. 
and got 600 PV in 48 hours as well. Probably with her, maybe less than 48 hours. But anyway, awesome job, Emily, who's not on the call. Who was that? I have a question. It's Adina. Adina, go ahead. Yeah. So back to your diagram where you had all the you know club members and everybody, um, and you you know get them to the next level. What what do you do for that? I mean, do you do a Zoom call and try to sign up one of their friends, or I mean, like what's realistic? Uh, let me put that back on the screen. Uh, right, PowerPoint there. Okay, you're talking about this, right, Adina? Yes. Can you see it? Am I frozen? Can anybody hear me? Oh, there you are. Did I freeze up? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, you're talking about this? Yeah. So what's the realistic way to get those people to the next level? I just did it with Audrey and Emily with an incentive. They were at 34 and 3200 PV and need to get to 4000. They had two days. I did it. They did it. I didn't do it. I, my idea for them was an incentive. They did the work. There's just one of many ways. Um, as an example, okay, I'm not saying that's the go-to. That's just, that's one way. Um, to answer your question more thoroughly, um, when somebody's at, there, there's a few things. I don't need to show that on the screen. When somebody's at 450 points and they just need 50 points to get to 500, it's as simple as if they can't figure out how to get a to sell a breakfast pack if they can't figure it out then you're letting them know you probably would want to consider buying 50 pv a product that you're going to use anyway that's going to cost you 75 bucks because to spend 75 bucks to get the 50 pv you're going to be earning a 40 or 50 dollar paycheck it's almost like free product if it's product you want and product you're going to use it kind of makes sense to go buy 70 dollars worth of product to get back 40 right yeah okay so i'm letting you know that i mean that's the fallback work you know worst case scenario but how do you get them to not have to buy it and actually build the business hey is there anybody i could three-way call with you is there anybody that you that i you know that you could put on the phone with me is there anybody you can you that you've got in your pipeline sometimes just i've had conversations with people like josh and he's like well have you this have you that have you thought of it I'm like oh no i could do that why didn't I think of that? That was so simple, Josh. Like, am I that stupid? No, I'm not stupid. I just didn't think about something that was right in front of my face. So sometimes just asking them, how can I serve you? How can I help you? 50 PV from, I mean, how, where can we go find a breakfast pack? Is there anybody you've been talking to? Can, can we do a Zoom call? I mean, we've got three days. Can we do a Zoom call? Can we do a one-on-one -on -one through Zoom? Um, or can we just set up, let's just do a Zoom call and you invite 20 people in the next 24 hours. Let's do a Zoom call tomorrow night. Why not? So anyway, there's a bunch of ways probably we could do it. Hopefully that helps. Anyone else? Yeah, I did. Um, Alan, did, what was, em, was Emily's incentive the same? I know she talked to me about doing an incentive. I never heard what she ended up same. going with. Same, same. Same. As I know. Okay. As I, know. I assume that it's the same. I didn't hear it differently. So I, I, okay. I, should, I believe it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Super proud of her too. Anyone else? If not, we'll shut it down. All right, going once, twice, three times. Get your team on this. We'll all upload it to uh, the Facebook group as soon as it processes, which can be one, two, three, four hours later, but hopefully we'll get it up sometime today or tonight. Have a great day, everyone. Make it a great weekend. Things are rocking. Thank you. This is awesome. Super helpful. Thank you, Gabby. Thanks Thank for you. Everyone. Bye-bye.